Yes, hello, uh, you are most welcome once again. Your teacher is back. I want to send my special greetings to all my good subscribers and viewers, uh, plus those who are commenting. You are all doing a very great job. Teachers TV uh, Africa, I love you so much for your hard work and support. Babi uh, Deminina in Egypt, thank you very much for your support every time. Uh, Roy Patrick, I really appreciate you so much for your good work. Uh, Sister Amina in Dubai, I appreciate you so much for your good work. And many others whom I cannot uh, finish up, but all of you, I really appreciate you. May the Almighty God keep blessing you, keep giving you life as you continue with this kind of work. Thank you very much. So today, we are still uh, going back to application of fractions. Application of fractions application of fractions remember we have just looked at some uh, number some two days ago about application of uh, fractions where we're talking about uh, a man spending a quarter of his salary on fees a uh, fifth of the remainder on this now today we have also come with this real life situation application at our home so let us look at it the question goes Tap K takes three minutes to fill a tank. Tap K takes three minutes to fill a tank. Now, all of us could be knowing what a tank is, but uh, let me draw a sample of a tank here. If we have our tank, which looks like this, I'm assuming that is resting on some stands, and this is the tank. Maybe it is at home or in the water supply grounds, anywhere. Now, the statement here is saying that tap K takes three minutes to fill a tank. Assuming that this is the tank. Tap K takes only three minutes to make this tank blue. I mean, to make this tank filled. Now, if the tank is to be filled, we assume that this tap is from the ground connecting there like that. If that is the tap connecting from down there and here the water can be spread there and this is tap K. Tap K takes three minutes to fill that tap when it is just alone doing the work. Then what happens? Tap P takes four minutes tap p takes four minutes to draw water from the tank to draw water means to remove water to make the tank empty that means as this tap is pouring there's a tap down here doing the work of removing i want you to practically do this thing at home this is now tap P. Imagine that someone is pouring water in a basin. Moves there, keeps pouring for you. Be picking water from that basin using the same size of material. For example, if he's using a jug, he also uses a jug. But the distance to which this one who is filling is picking from should be nearer compared to that one who is picking and the speed they are using should be the same. You can practically do this and you realize that at the same time the, the, the basin will remain full because the other will be pouring for you will be removing or drawing water away from that. Or practically if you look at in those water supply places, they will be filling their tanks but for us in our homes we are drawing water from the taps, from their tanks using the taps in our homes. As we are picking water, if you go in those water supply places, you'll get those big, big tanks connected to many taps. All those taps are filling the, the, the tank. But how many people are being supplied with the water? And how many are using the water at a certain specific time? They are drawing water from that tank. But the tank will always have water and will always be full. So that is the calculation we want to look at today. What happens? to this tank. As this one is removing water, this one is pouring water. But remember, according to the question, 
This one which is pouring takes only three minutes to fill it. Now this one which is removing takes four minutes to draw water. That means the one removing is a bit slow compared to the one pouring. That's the same thing when you're practically doing it at home. Please let the one drawing water, picking water away, be a little bit slower than you or the distance that is going to pour water to if he's picking it from the other if he's picking from here should be far away from this person who is picking this one should pick from a closer range compared to the other one so that the time that this one takes otherwise when this one's for example if they were all taking the same time then this tank would not get full because they're asking us that how many hours will it take to fill the tank if all the taps were left open at the same time. Remember, tap K takes three minutes to fill it and tap B takes four minutes to draw water from the tank. That means this one will be working against the efforts of the other one bringing the water. What happens here? So we want to go into the deep calculations. Uh, what we need to know that since tap P takes four minutes to draw water from the tank and tap K takes only three minutes to fill the tank. So what we are going to do here, we shall see uh, what tap K can fill in only one minute. Remember, in a minute, in a minute, we have tap K, which takes a total of three minutes to fill the whole tank. Now, if in three minutes, this tap K can fill the whole tank, a whole, one tank like this, what about in one minute? That means just like direct proportion, one minute divided by three minutes times the whole tank. This is that. So one out, one times one is one out of, then this is it, three of the whole tank. That means tap K fills a third of the whole tank in one minute. A third of the whole tank in one minute is filled by the tank, just in one minute. Then in the same one minute, we want to calculate, remember tap K, I mean tap P, draws water in the whole tank in four minutes. What, ab what about the, the, the whole, the part of the tank filled in one minute, four minutes, it fills the whole tank, one full tank. Then what about in one minute? Just like the direct proportion I told you, you pick one minute out of, out of four minutes, multiplied by the whole tank. So this is a quarter of the tank. A quarter of the tank is drawn in one minute by tap P. A quarter of the tank is drawn in one minute by tap P. What about both taps in one minute? We want to look at what they do in one minute, both taps in a minute, both taps in a minute. Remember, tap K takes a third, I mean, fills a third of the tank in one minute. Then tap P fill, draws a quarter of the tank in one minute so what you're going to do since this one is pouring water the other one is removing that means we are going to subtract the fraction that it is filling the fraction they are filling in one minute minus the fraction they are drawing in one minute the, now the answer you get here is of the tank the fraction you are going to get is of the tank so when you get the LOCM LOCM is 12 what is 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 times 1 is 4 minus 12 divided by Three by four is three times one, which is it? Three. So meaning that we have here four minus three, which is one. 
one out of twelve of the tank of the tank filled in one minute for both taps. That means why we are subtracting is that tap K is taking a one minute to fill a third of the tank. Then tap P fill draws a quarter of the water. This one pours a third. This one removes a quarter of it. This one pours a third, so it removes a quarter of it. When they open at the same time, how long are they going to take to fill together? I told that you first get the fraction filled by tap K in one minute. The fraction is a third of the tank. Then the fraction drawn by the tap P from the tank is a quarter of the whole tank. Now, both taps in one minute. Remember, we can't add. Why? Because... This one is pouring water, whereas the other one is removing, just as demonstrated here. When tap K is pouring water, tap P will be removing. That's why we are subtracting. To subtract, to subtract is to remove, to draw off some parts. So, in, in that one minute, the water which will be remaining in every minute will be 1 out of 12 of the tank. That is where we are going. Now, if 1 out of 12 of the tank of the tank is filled in one minute what about the whole tank which is one remember the fraction is one we have the whole number one. Oh, you can match it to this but the whole tank you can say 12 out of 12 is the same as saying one. That's the whole. How to get it? Twelve out of twelve of the tank of the tank is filled in. So direct proportion. I told you twelve out of twelve divided by one out of twelve. This one I divide by that times one minute. This divide by this times this minute. Out together. Now this is 12 of, out of 12 of, reciprocal since we are dividing. So by 12 of 1 by 12 of 1. Here we have 1. 12 times 1 is 12 of, out of 1 times 1 which is 1. So it takes 12 of minutes. For the two taps it takes 12 of minutes for the two taps to fill the tank. Imagine, 12 minutes for the two taps to fill the tank. Now, the question is, how many hours? How many hours? The answer we have got is in minutes. So here now it becomes very simple. You convert the minutes into hours. This is what uh, we are going to do. You will have uh, 60 minutes equals to one hour. What about 12 minutes? Equals to the 12 minutes out of 60 minutes times one hour. Times one hour. So from this point when you divide by six, two, by six, ten. By six, one, by six, five. So it will be one out of five hours. One out of five hours. That is the time that it will take. Yes, my talk, my board is full, but the work looks very okay for you. And don't say any step is supposed to be left out. Or why do we involve many steps? All these are necessary because interpretation of the question helps you to easily pass it well without. Uh, any problem. Therefore, I am saying that tap K takes three minutes to fill a tank. Tap K is this one is pour water. Then tap P takes four minutes to draw water. That's why it is here. The water is coming out. Assuming that you are collecting it uh, in a certain bucket here. You keep collecting it. Then they are asking you how many hours will it take for both taps if they were left open. To fill the tank but it's you know how practical you can do it as i've explained to you 
you will see how difficult it is. One is removing, the other one is pouring. So efforts are being tarnished. This one is doing the work, the other one is. That is how it is. You can see the time they can now take. The tap, will, will, the two taps will take 12 minutes. Remember, tap K alone is too strong that you can even fill it in only three minutes. But when the other one is being removed and it is this one is pouring, that's when they will take much more time. Then at the end of it all, you change it in two hours. Always, it's very good to interpret the question well and to answer it accordingly because it gives you a lot of time. So you will answer for me this exercise that you are seeing there. That number, you will answer it and see how best you can also be able to do that work. These are simple things, by the way. You shouldn't make them so complicated. These are practical. Actually, why children fail mathematics? They fear application questions, and this is application. Practically done, anyway, and they can even see it. Some of you stay in urban, urban areas. You have ever seen these water sources, and you have seen how they work. Just at one moment, you can take... Uh, some kind of work and you want to study how these things work. It's very simple. We shall be able to pass the word to uh, appreciate once again for attending and may the Almighty God bless you as we meet next time. Thank you.